Hi guys, Rich Pacine from RGPC.com. Coming to you tonight to do my last video, and the rest of the videos will be done tomorrow. Uh, it's getting late here. It's 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm on the uh, East Coast here in New York, and I'm just going to end the video tonight with this nice Philips AJ3977 uh, CD clock radio. I'm going to do a live demo on it you know, to show you it plays, it works, and so on and so forth. The overall condition on this clock radio, it does have some light scuff marks on the face over here. Very light. does not interfere with the viewing whatsoever. This is a CD player. You put your CD in there. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to load that up. I have over here, which is not included, the Nutcracker. Um, I like classical music, so that's why I always use it. It's very relaxing, and it's nothing too, you know, loud and, you know, vibrant. So it's just to give you an idea that it works. Um, the overall condition is very good, pretty clean. At the back over here, it takes uh, two AA batteries, which are not included for your battery backup, but it does work. I did test it out. The clock, this clock radio does work, and the battery... Uh, backup does work on it because I had uh, put the batteries in there. I had the radio on I pulled the plug and it still maintained the same time and everything Okay, so I have everything all wrapped up over here folks as you know I like to do everything live so I'm going to point this down here and I'm just going to show you really quick uh, That this thing works You got to bear with me on the controls here because I'm not too familiar with this how it works like you know all the settings But I will play around with it to get it to work just to show you in case those who are not familiar with this here, they're probably wondering what this little wire is. It's an antenna. Um, again, I bought this at the thrift store, folks, so um, I just want to show you something really quick here. If I can get it out of here, I'm sorry, folks. I don't want to pull it any more than what it is because I want to show you something here. And this came like this from the thrift store, not me. Uh, however, you can't get electrocuted as far as I know. <laughs> you probably said, uh-oh, electrocute. What's he talking about? Um, so over here, folks, it looks like they spliced the wire. That was from the uh, previous owner. I didn't do that. Um, but if you, you know, you can't get electrocuted. It's an antenna wire. That's what this little skinny wire is. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it snapped and they try to put it back together. I didn't do a good job, but whatever. Um, that's why it's like the way it is. So, you know, that's just a hangout. I don't know if you hang it on a wall or you drop it down. If it's depending where you keep this thing, if it's behind your bed or about a nightstand, you probably just drop it down or pin it up somewhere so you get better reception. So, anyway, that's what happened here. That's the only fault I see here that this they spliced this antenna wire, which is no big deal. Okay. Um, I, have an, I have a plug here next to my desk. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, I got it plugged in over here, and as you can see, the clock powered on. Okay, so you got to bear with me, folks, on this here because I don't know how to work all the things. I'm not saying it's a rocket scientist to do it, but um, I'm going to uh, do the best I can. I'm going to start with the CD, I'll put that in there. Okay, let's see how this works now, because again, I don't know how to do this, so let's see if I can get it to work. The volume, where's the volume over here? Bear with me, folks. I'm sure the volume is here. Goes up to uh, 20 on the volume, just to let you know. Now it's just a matter of getting it to, oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see the CD playing in there, of course. I don't know if you can see it spinning around there. So you can see it spinning, folks. So you know it works. It's definitely working. Okay. It's got the speaker on the side here, one on each side. Okay. On each side here. the nutcracker. I don't know how you just change it. That's for me on changing the channels here. Uh, let's see if that changes it. I'm not sure. Um, well, you, you can figure that out on your own. 
Let me see if I get the uh, radio. I'm going to stop this here. Uh, if I know how to stop it here, let's see. Okay, I think that's how you stop it. You can see the disc is spinning around, so you know that works. It's very functional. And we'll wait for it to stop, and we'll take it out very gently without damaging anything. Put that to the side. Close this guy up. It's pretty clean inside, folks, as you can see. It's a very clean unit. Okay. And you got the LCD over here. Again, it's showing up like this because nothing's set. I'm not going to set anything. I mean, you guys can see it does work. You know. Okay. And uh, that's what we got going on here. Let's see what else we can do here. Now, let's see the radio. I'm not familiar. Let's see the radio, how that works. You got to bear with me, folks. Like I said, I'm not familiar. This is not my radio, so I don't really know how to go through it that quick. I know it's not rocket science, but um, if you don't own something, you don't know how to get it to work. I know the radio does work because I had it on. Yep. Let's see. Let's try and get an AM channel. Uh, let's see here. I'll try to get a local channel in here so you can see it. We all hear it. Okay, 880. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that FM? I don't know which one it is. Let's see. We got a local channel here. Let me see if I can get a local channel. WCBS News Time, 1108. Traffic, weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. What's going on, Ken Daniels? Well, we got construction okay. on 8095 in New Jersey, okay. so we got a closure of That's the local lanes. Your northbound side, exit 68 for Challenger. That's your volume. Exit 72. So the Remember the volume only goes up to uh, 20. So you're diverted to the express lanes. But you can see that's because that you're getting close to the frequency or a lot, a lot of electricity right here. Okay, but it does work good, folks, as you can see. Okay, when you hang the antenna up, you get better reception. Okay, and that's what we got going on, folks. All right. Uh, let's see if I can shut this off here. Okay, so. All right, now we're going to go through that there. So let's see if we power this off here. I'm not sure how to shut it off. I think that's Minor it. Delays okay, I guess we're getting shut, so we'll pull the plug. Or else I'll be talking over you. Um, that's what we got going on, folks. If you have any questions about this here, it's the Philips CD clock radio. Uh, you just seen a live intro demo uh, about this radio, so you know it works. It's in pretty clean condition. Um, it does have some minor scuff marks on here from the previous owner, but overall it's clean condition. Um, in and out, the cassette area is nice and clean. Uh, I should say the CD area, and uh, all your function buttons are right there. Okay, you can see right there. All right. And folks, if this is the first time coming to my YouTube channel or in this particular case my eBay listing, I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on any of the items that you buy from me. So if uh, you're unhappy with this for some reason, you got 30 days to return it. Um, all I ask in return is that when the way I ship it to you, nice and well packaged, if you can kindly send it back to me like that, because you know if you're not happy with the item uh, and you want to send it back, I would like to resell it and like to have it back in you know a one condition the way it was sent to you. That's all I ask, and uh, basically that's it, folks. Uh, if you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you get anything out or you think it's helpful to you in any way. Give, please give him a thumbs up, and if not, that's fine, but I just thought I'd share this with you. Uh, my name is Rich Bassine from RJBassine.com, and I do YouTube videos, of course. I do sneak peek uh, videos, intro, and demo videos, and this one here is kind of like an intro demo video, if you call it that. But thanks again, guys. You guys have a great night, great day, wherever you are. Uh, this is the last video for tonight. Tomorrow I'll be picking up on some more. I'm going to have um, just to share with you really quick here. Uh, without getting too detailed, I have them all laid out over here. I got some Sony uh, Dream Machine radios, the clock radios that's going to be going up. Matter of fact, I'll leave them on my desk because that's one of the priority things I'm going to be doing. And uh, this one's a nice one here. I know I could probably do them all together, right? But I'd rather do one at a time. Uh, this one here is a nice Sony one. This one here. Okay, it comes with the antenna. And uh, if you have an iPhone, it says for iPhone connection there, you could connect it for your iPhone. See? It's got the iPhone there. I got that. Uh, and I got two more, which are the same. Um, 
these are all wrapped up but they're the same ones I'll take one out they're both exactly the same but uh, that's what's going to be going up on eBay tomorrow so um, keep a lookout folks all right keep an eye on for these yeah there's going to be two of these the same but I do have quite a few uh, Sony radios that's going to be going up tomorrow so uh, be on the lookout for them if you're interested in any nice Sony clock radios check it out uh, they'll be going up tomorrow um, but tonight tonight I will call it a night because it is getting late and that's basically it guys I'll talk to you soon you have a great day and a great night bye now